Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I want to show you Hangouts Meet. I want to show you where you can access Hangouts Meet from, how you start an access meet, and how to give you some tips to get the best experience out of this for you and for your users. Let's start with how to access your Hangout Meet. Now I'm gonna go up to the app launcher and I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do this. And this is the Google Apps, this, these nine squares here. And as I click on this, you can see Google, here it is right here, Meet. Uh, if, and you also see Hangouts. Now we're not using Hangouts and this is gonna be disappearing in the accounts like your business account or your school accounts and it's gonna be just going to Meet. You're gonna see Hangouts in your free account. If you wanna learn about Hangouts, I have a different video about that. I'll put the link uh, down below in the description or the card above. But we're dealing with Meet here. Now I can go ahead and click on this and if it's not at the top, if you're accessing this lot, you can drag these around and put them in the place that you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead, click on Meets, and it opens up. Now notice that it is just meet.google.com. You could just type that in and you're gonna to get to that. Now another way that I like to join Meet is uh, in, to help me keep organized. If I just go to my Google Calendar here, uh, I'll just click on here and I'm just gonna uh, click a random day here and let's say I have a meeting tomorrow I'm trying to plan. If I go to, uh, to create a date on this one uh, and I go ahead and title it, you can see there's conferencing here. I can add a Hangouts Meet to it and then it's going to give them that connection inside their calendar and I like doing it that way just to help keep you know keeping things in my calendar and other people's calendars uh, so just a, a way to uh, to do that here but I'm going to go back to Google Meet here and as I said you could just type this in so at this point now the great thing about using Google uh, Meet is you don't have to have a Google account to access this uh, you can send this out even a person from Skype organizations you can be sending them the link to this and they can access it all they need is a web browser or a else the app on their phone and they're good to go. So let's start by just creating uh, a meeting here and showing you all the different things that you can do inside of this. Okay, so you can see right away, join or start a meeting. Now I have both options. That's because I'm logged into my education account or if I was logged into my business account, you would see both these options. I'm just gonna bring over this window here and this is a different Gmail account. You can see how the icon, this is my just my gmail.com, my free one. Notice I can join a meeting, but I can't uh, start a meeting from here. You can only start it from if you're part of the organization and your administrator has to make sure that they've turned that on for people. So if you don't see it, ask your administrator uh, to know uh, maybe if they forgot or if they have a reason for not using it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and hit join or start a meeting here. Click on this and I'm just gonna name this and I'll just call this Teachers Tech and I'm gonna hit continue. Now, if you get this little notification up top here, and usually the first time you will, and, and other people, it will say, do you wanna give access to your microphone and to your, uh, to your webcam? Make sure you hit allow, don't hit block, because if you hit block, then you won't be able to see this. So a lot of times people just instinctively hit block because they think that's what they're supposed to do, but make sure they hit allow on those. Now you can see some options here. You can control on and off from these buttons. If I click the video camera off, and then I can click it back on again. Uh, we can access it there. We have more options right through here. So where we have captions and settings, but when I get into it, when I start, um, I'll show you uh, where to, where we can turn on captions from a different place too. Now I'm gonna, the first example I just wanna show you, maybe you just want to present your screen. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you can just hit present here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, hit present now. And then what I would, do is pick do I want my entire screen or application window I'm on dual monitor here so I have two different things I would just select select and hit share and then that's what I would be presenting from there now I'm just gonna hang up on this one and uh, return to my home screen 
And I'm just going to click on this again, and I'm just going to type in Teachers Tech again because I want to do it uh, differently. And you're going to see the camera and everything pick up here. Now we can dial in, join using a phone, and you could, if you have, uh, you could see if you have a dial in, you just pick the country and everything that you're from, and you'll get a number from it. And that usually goes out on the invite too, so people know how to access it that way. But I'm just going to close this. I'm going to hit join now and at this point I can add people uh, from here I don't have to add people I can do it later on uh, I could uh, take this link right here I could copy this and it's going to give this and I could send it out in an email where people can easily phone in or uh, copy it in uh, this is where I like making the calendar option so all the information is inside the Google Calendar I can add people to this too so if I was going to go I'll just add the, uh, the couple people here and hit send and then those two people would get the invite. Notice that the uh, camera is a little bit blurry. I'm gonna show you where you can uh, change some of those options in, in your setup and things that we can do inside of this. All right, so I just wanna give a little tour of the interface here. And before I go into anything, I just wanna show you, because if you were just starting a meeting, you might wanna record it. These little dots here where there's more options, and I'll come back to some of the other things on this, you can go ahead and hit record the meeting, and then it will be saved to Google Drive. Now, this is something, again, your administrator would have to turn on. Uh, it's off by default, and they would have to allow that to be happening, but you can record your meeting. Okay, so uh, just a little tour of this. If I go over on the left hand over here, I'm gonna open this up. You can see the details of the meeting. I can copy the joining info and send it out from there. If I have attachments in Google Calendar, and this is why I like using Google Calendars, I can go ahead and put the attachment and set everything up uh, in an event from there, and everybody's on the same page. It really keeps things organized, so I do recommend using that. Now, I'm just gonna go across. This is very similar to what I was uh, showing you before I entered into this, uh, to this display here, but I can turn my mic on and off. I can leave the call, so when you're done, uh, you can leave the call, and then we have our option to turn the camera on or off. Now, we have captions over here, and I like the use of captions. I'm gonna turn captions on, and you're gonna see that the words are gonna appear down below me. And so people can be reading this, so they could maybe even turn off the mic or they turn down the sound if their quality wasn't there and they could read it. And you can see it does a pretty good job. Sometimes there's errors in it, but generally it does a pretty good job uh, with picking up what you're saying. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn the captions off. I, I do think that's a, a really good option to have. We have present now. So if I go to present now, I'm gonna click on this. I can go to my entire screen or a window uh, from here. So if I was gonna to go to the window, it shows me all the windows that I have open uh, here. And I would just go pick the one I want to show. So I would just uh, click on it and hit share. Then I'm showing, and then I can go ahead and be showing my window from that point. And uh, it makes it very easy to communicate uh, with people. You can just show, you, show your desktop and then they can watch and learn and they can change it around. So definitely a good option to have there. There. Now, going, I'm just going to go up to the top here. Uh, this again, where you can invite people uh, through here, uh, all the people. I can add more people here if I wanted to. Uh, remember, they could just click on the link and join that too. Uh, if I click on this one, you can pin the presenter on it. So if you click on anybody, if someone's presenting so it doesn't go uh, off of someone, you can make sure you just pin it so it stays the same. So if you click on it, um, it goes off too that way. But you'll see as people join join the room we have uh, they'll just come through here we also have a chat uh, that you can be sending the messages in it sends it out to everyone so if you're typing something you can see the chat there uh, but it just sends it uh, to everyone through there and it's not something you can turn on or off the chat so do know that that's going to exist uh, there uh, and then however you manage the situation if I want this to go away if I just click on the video it just goes back to normal like that so those are some uh, just some points up here. It's a pretty simplistic uh, interface. I'm just going to go back down to the three dots. 
And uh, here you can see, I already mentioned the recording option, but we do have change layout. So we can click on that. We have our different uh, options to pick here. Uh, if you wanted to change it around, I'm just gonna close out of that one. Uh, we have uh, full screen on it. So if you click, you can see how it goes to full screen uh, on it. And I can go ahead and hit escape out of it. Uh, we could go through again, turn captions on from here. Settings, if you wanted to change the quality, so we have audio quality, you can see where you pick your mics um, on it. When this is moving, this is showing that it is working on it. Um, I could change my microphone. Again, this is the same as the setup that I showed you prior to even coming into the meeting. Video, it's only at 360. Uh, I can change it to, now this depends if you're worried about any lag or anything, but if I go to 720, uh, you can see there's a send and receive on it so I can make those adjustments. And now the quality uh, of the video is at a higher quality, you can see from there. Uh, I'll just go back and you can see uh, where the uh, use of a phone with uh, for audio and we have a reporter problem or help. So other than that, your as the other people come in, you'll see them down the side. I have some other tips that I would have now. Uh, this, when the hangout gets created or when the meet gets created, uh, I would probably recommend that people leave uh, if you're teaching something or waiting, wait for other people to leave because it just stays open, right? So uh, if you left, if any of the other participants are in it, they could just stay there uh, and, and talk away. So you can make sure uh, that's one option that you have. So I hope you like this walkthrough of hangout. Uh, definitely give it a try. Remember if it's part of an organization, this works uh, very well. Hangouts is still there, uh, but that will be in the free accounts only. So uh, if you're looking for more techs or tech tips or tutorial, join me next week on Teachers Tech. Thanks for watching.